Okay, um, this is part three in our uh, series uh, on two-dimensional higher wavelets. And in this series, we're going to talk about um, how to use tensor products to uh, transfer, transition from one-dimensional space to two-dimensional space. So this is uh, the basic uh, step function or uh, a scalar uh, that we uh, discussed in the previous, briefly discussed in the previous um, uh, broadcast. So there's a unit uh, circle and on uh, uh, the x dimension and the uh, y dimension and then it has a unit um, height right uh, in the z dimension um, so it's just the value maps the value of x and y uh, to uh, one right it's a three-dimensional picture but technically it is um, uh, two dimensions because we're dealing only with uh, x and y so uh, let's see that we are going to go uh, from frequency of zero on the left to uh, frequency of uh, one uh, on the right and we would like to uh, uh, scale the um, uh, basic uh, step function uh, to uh, from frequency of zero to uh, the domain of frequency of one so where we have um, uh, four cells right we divide our one cell into uh, into four cells so uh, this is the basic definition of the uh, below and we're going to plug uh, two times x um, uh, right, and replace x with 2 times x and uh, replace uh, y with uh, 2 times y. And um, uh, a bit uh, of um, manipulation, algebraic manipulation, will give you uh, the definition of uh, phi uh, superscript 1, uh, 0, 0, of x and y. So superscript 1 means frequency. So we go from frequency of 0 to frequency of 1. So here's, we... Mm, I'm going to derive a scale uh, the basic uh, uh, unit step uh, uh, the basic step function uh, um, uh, in the uh, uh, to the step uh, function uh, in uh, uh, the domain uh, where we have frequency of um, uh, one uh, and in the uh, top right uh, corner so simply by replacing 2x um, uh, in the definition um, uh, below with 2x and y with 2 minus y, we get this scalar um, uh, in the top right uh, corner. Here's an, uh, we're going to scale the basic function uh, to uh, another subscalar, right, um, in uh, the top, um, in the bottom uh, uh, right corner. So by replacing x with 2x minus 1 and y uh, with 2y minus 1, this is the uh, 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 smaller scalar or uh, more sensitive scalar. And uh, finally, we scale the basic scalar to a, f a more uh, a refined scalar uh, um, in the uh, top, uh, in the in the bottom, in the bottom left corner. So, so this is what we uh, have accomplished. We took the uh, basic scalar uh, phi zero zero uh, zero frequency of zero, and then obtained um, four uh, finer scalars uh, or um, uh, basic uh, step functions um, in a domain where we have frequency of one, two-dimensional uh, uh, domain frequ uh, uh, frequency of one. Uh, where we have uh, uh, four uh, finer scalars, uh, top left, top right, uh, bottom left, and bottom right. Let's go through uh, a quick example. So suppose we have the signal function f of 0, 0 is equal uh, 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 to 7, f of 0, uh, 1 over 2 is equal to 5, f of 1 over 2 and 0 equal, uh, equals 3, and f of half and half is equal um, uh, um, uh, to 1. So uh, we're going to um, uh, first draw these um, uh, lines, right, or poles if you want. So f of 0, 0 is 7, and f of um, uh, 0 and half uh, is 5, and then f of half and 0 is 3, and f of half and half is 1. And then we scale them, right, or uh, uh, do the two-dimensional steps by drawing these uh, cubes, right, of a specific height 
um, in each cell. And uh, this approximation, f tilde, the square step approximation, is equal 7 to phi superscript 1, 0, 0. So 7 times the um, first uh, basic scalar, uh, well, or uh, top left, 5 times uh, the height of the um, second uh, basic scalar, 3 times the height of the third basic scalar, and uh, or to, uh, bottom, bottom left, and then one times the height of the fourth basic scalar. Okay, let's um, use tensor products to uh, transition into the, uh, the two-dimensional space. Mm, so just to review, uh, this is the definition of uh, a tensor product, the tensor product of uh, two arbitrary functions of one argument is their, argue, is their um, a product. So this is another basic unit step function, mm, uh, zero, and then jump uh, to one and then uh, back to zero and on to the positive infinity. Right. Um, okay, so uh, we can project uh, the basic unit step function onto two uh, uh, planes, right, on the x-axis, if we project it on the uh, x-axis. Um, this will look like this. This is the x-axis, and if we project um, the basic unit step function um, uh, onto the y-axis, it will look um, uh, like uh, what it looks like in the, uh, in the graph below, right, in the figure below. This is y and, um, and, this, is, and this is x. We're just projecting them on two different uh, axes and um, uh, uh, do the drawings to different planes. So uh, let's consider the tensor product of um, uh, phi, all right, basic unit uh, uh, step function projected onto x and basic uh, unit step function projected onto y. So uh, notice that if we compute the product, we are gonna uh, get the uh, basic, uh, our basic step function in the frequency of zero. This is the unit step function, basic unit um, step function, all right, x and y. And uh, uh, recall from the previous um, uh, series that um, uh, this is the wavelet right, uh, on the interval from 0 to 1. So um, now let's uh, just, okay, with that in mind, uh, let's derive the two-dimensional wavelet uh, through tensor product. So unit step function projected on x and uh, wavelet uh, projected onto y. If we compute the tensor product, then we are going to get the horizontal, two-dimensional horizontal wavelet change. Horizontal means along the x mm, axis. Uh, whose graph is going to look like this. So as you notice that it will show us how much the data change um, uh, horizontally, right, from, uh, uh, from, from left, going from left to right, okay? Well, the direction is arbitrary. We could go from right to left. Uh, then uh, let's do the same thing with uh, two-dimensional vertical wavelet. Um, so this is uh, a look at the graphs below. This is the um, a wavelet psi projected on the x-axis, um, tensor product with the basic step function projected on the y-axis, and the tensor product uh, will uh, give us the vertical change. In other words, the change along the uh, 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 y uh, uh, axis, so from top to bottom. Okay. So, and then finally, the two-dimensional diagonal wavelet. So we gonna we obtain it from, by taking the tensor product of uh, psi projected on the x-axis, um, the wavelet, and then psi projected on the y-axis. So you get this interesting uh, picture, um, the graph of the tensor product, uh, psi d uh, zero zero, uh, and uh, that. Well, the, the technical definition is given uh, up above, and the graph is given below. Okay, so uh, this is a closer look um, uh, without too much uh, clutter. So let's take a closer look at the uh, tensor product of psi from 0, 1 and phi from 0, 1. So this is the uh, vertical change from uh, that measures the change from uh, uh, top to bottom. Um, so uh, you can, as you can see, it's a closer, uh, closer look. So it goes from the value of 1, uh, if x is from 0 to half and y is from 0 to 1, uh, and then drops down to uh, the value of minus 1, right, when x is from half to 1 and y is from 0 to, uh, to 1.
so this is, this is the um, basic uh, basic uh, 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 wavelet that measures the uh, uh, change from uh, the uh, the vertical change and this is the wavelet that measures the horizontal change um, so denoted by psi superscript h0 and um, so first, it's a, a, a step of uh, cubes, two cubes of height one, and then a jump to two cubes of uh, height one, but in the negative direction. Right. <clears throat> okay. So those are that. That's the uh, wavelet that measures the change uh, horizontally from uh, left to right. Okay. So let's, okay, that's zero, why uh, greater than zero and less than half. So example. So suppose the frequency of one, then we're going to compute um, uh, the basic uh, step function and then uh, three wavelets, horizontal, vertical, and uh, diagonal uh, for all appropriate values of um, row and column. So uh, there will be uh, four uh, values, right? So because we're going to have two basic cells. So the frequency of one, that means that one spike horizontally and one spike vertically. Or, you know, vertically and horizontally swapped depending on where UX and Y uh, is. So this is the, uh, well, we'll compute the, a couple of values. This is the first scalar, a small scalar, okay, in this uh, in this cell. Okay, we're going to skip the next uh, one, the bottom, the top, uh, the top, the top right, and it's just going to go to the uh, uh, bottom right. The top right is computed similarly, so this is the scalar uh, in the bottom, in the bottom right, and this is in the uh, the scalar, finer scalar for the new frequency of one in the uh, bottom, uh, bottom left. And this is the, um, the wavelets for sound values of uh, R and C. Okay, well, thank you. This is to be continued.